Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Here, we will discuss the sample listening tests for the CELPIP exam. You can get familiar with the CELPIP listening tests with these sample tests. The listening test has six parts and one practice task. The total time allocated to the listening section is 50 minutes. Please keep in mind that the passage will be played only once in the actual CELPIP test. Here, we will watch a sample video for the CELPIP listening test. We will discuss Task 3, Listening for Information Details. If you want to see all of the CELPIP tutorials, you can search on YouTube by writing CELPIP Store. You will find all the other tutorial series here. Now, Let's start with listening for information details task. In this task, you will listen to audio, which is a conversation between two people. There will be a total of six questions based on the audio. In this task, questions will also be in audio form, and you will see four options given on the right-hand side of the computer screen. You have to choose the correct option from the given options. Before we start listening to problem solving task, we should know about the tips and tricks for this task. Number 1. You will listen the audios only once. Number 2. Read the topic of discussion in the beginning. Number 3. There are three sections and eight multiple choice questions. Number 4. Questions are in verbal form, not in written form. Number 5. You should know about the speakers. Number 6. You should know about the topic of discussion. Number 7. You should know about the problem as well solution. Number 8. You should know about what the speakers are thinking and how do they feel. Now let's start with the question. Please listen to the audio carefully. VoIP technology is the wave of the future in terms of telephone communication via the Internet. Let's talk to our expert Mr. Raza about this technology. Sir my first question is what is VoIP? VoIP is an acronym for Voice Over Internet Protocol, aka Voice Over IP Phone. A VoIP, in essence, is a computer phone that allows you to make phone calls from your computer to anyone in the world, for example, PC to PC, PC to phones, landlines or cells. The voice signal converts to data packets and travels across the internet through a VoIP platform, and then convert back to voice at the receiving end of the communication exchange. Leading telecom experts are projecting that 75% of the world's communications will be done on VoIP within the next several years. What kind of equipment do I need? You will need a computer with internet access and an inexpensive microphone if your computer does not have one built in. Although most VoIP voice over IP phone providers requires high-speed internet connections, there are a few that can be used on dial-up connections. How can I place a call or receive a call? Basically, the same way you would a regular phone, except on your PC. When you download a VoIP voice over IP phone line on your computer, a phone usually appears on your screen. The computer phone acts like any other phone in that you can dial numbers on it from a pad, or click on a contact spray programmed name, and press the call button. You will then hear the phone ringing to the party you have called and can talk to them when they accept the call. When receiving a call, the phone will ring on your computer and you can click to accept the call and talk or let it ring, based on the number of rings you have set up, and forward the caller to your voicemail. Who can I call using a VoIP phone? Most reputable VoIP computer phone providers limit PC to PC calls among their own subscribers for privacy purposes so that the quality of sound is not compromised. Now let's check the questions. Question 1. VoIP stands for. As Mr. Roser said that, VoIP stands for, Voice Over Internet Protocol, so option 3, is the right answer. Question 2. What percent of calls will be done on VoIP in future? 
As Mr. Roser said that, leading experts are predicting that almost 75% calls will be done by VoIP in future, so option 2 is the right answer. Question 3. Which of the following statements is false? As Mr. Roser said that, VoIP allows us to make calls from computer to computer, landline and mobile phones, so option 2 is the right answer. Question 4. In VoIP call which signal is converted to data packets? Mr. Rosers explains that, the voice signals converts into data packets and travel across the internet via VoIP platform, so option 1 is the right answer. Question 5. What kind of internet speed is required for VoIP? VoIP requires high-speed internet connection. It can be a wireless internet connection or a dial-up internet connection, so option 3 is the right answer. Question 6. Why most reputable VoIP computer phone providers limit PC to PC calls? As VoIP provides clear and better sound quality of voice for calls, so option 1 is the right answer. Click on the Submit button to submit the test. You can check your test report by clicking on the View Report button. You can practice all other sections of the test here. Cellpip Store also provide complete test. You can practice on Cellpip Store for better Cellpip scores. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on valuable tips and insights. Also, if you have any questions or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, drop them in the comments below. For the latest tests and professional guidance, register on Cellpipstar. The link to join our platform is mentioned in the description below. Thank you for spending time with us.